Ariel Hawani in Las Vegas for UFC 200 alongside Sage Northcutt who meets Enrique Marin this Saturday live on FS1. Sage, it's good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. I'm great. Thanks. Congratulations on the new Reebok deal. How did that all come about? Thank you. Uh, you know, it's, it's a huge honor to be with Reebok. Reebok's great and them being partnered with the UFC, that's even better. So uh, they're an athletic company and, and I'm, just, I'm just so happy to be partnered with them. Were you surprised that it happened after? It's kind of funny that it happened after your first loss in the UFC, right? I mean, like sometimes you think you lose, your stock goes down, but here you are, you just got to deal with Reebok. That's amazing. Yes, sir. Um, absolutely. Being with Reebok, uh, that's going to be, that's, like I said, a huge honor. Um, surprising for sure and very exciting, definitely. I saw uh, you took a picture yesterday with the, the, the UFC gloves and their special UFC 200 gloves. Was that a cool moment for you? Like, did you get goosebumps? They don't do that sort of thing usually. It's the first time they've ever made special gloves like that. Not even for UFC 100. What was going through your mind when you wore them? Yes, for sure. They had the gold on them, everything. Yeah. So I kind of looked at them. I was like, man, this is it's kind of like I'm the champ right here. <laughs> yeah. And then all the fighters getting to wear that. It's, it's super cool. And this time last year, the July 4th weekend show, what were you doing? Do you recall? You know, um, I was probably shooting off some fireworks. Okay. And uh, I was fighting and... Um, I don't know if it was summertime last, it was about summertime for me, so I probably just got off doing school and uh, finished up some finals. So the event last, uh, this time last year was UFC 189 when Connor fought Chad Mendez. Did you even watch that live? Do you recall watching that? You know, I actually might have been taking final exams during school, or just finished them and coming back home. So um, I don't remember the fight off my head, but I probably did watch it. Is it a little surreal for you sitting here and looking around like you're a year later a big part of UFC 200, not just any random show with Brock and DC and Jones and Misha Tate. Does that like, does it make sense to you in your mind? Has it sunken in this whole one year journey that you've had? Yes, for sure. And uh, like I said, it's a huge honor just getting to sit here in the same room with them and uh, with everybody that's fighting on the card. It's, it's amazing. Considering what happened in January and then this little controversy with the training partner, does Sage Northcutt have something to prove on Saturday to the doubters? You know, uh, there's absolutely something to prove. Um, some of the people that don't believe that my last performance was like it was because I was sick. Um, I'm going out there to perform my best, and I'm healthy, and I'm strong, and ready. So you feel like it's time to, to shut these people up, right? Once and for all, let's go. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no more criticism. Come on, why, why do people hate on you sometimes? It's not right. That sure would be nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you envision a finish in your mind? Uh, you know, I'm always envisioning it. So. If it's standing up, if, it's, if I knock my opponent out, if it's on the ground, if it's a submission, uh, whatever it might be. I, I'm envisioning something big. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's good to have you part of this card. Best of luck to you on Saturday. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much.